Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers and welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us, one growing big family. Thank you for your beautiful comments and all your love. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. I would like to mention if the video is too fast for you up top, there's three little buttons on the right hand corner for most of you or in your settings. And you can slow down the video to the speed you like. You can also turn the closed caption on, which is the CC next to the three little dots. If you don't know how to do it in the link below in the description box, there's a little link that you can click on there and I show you how to do that. It's a two minute video. Also, I'd like to mention that I do have a crochet uh, private group. You're more than welcome to join if you have a profile. There's a lot of scamming going around in the crochet groups nowadays. You must be careful with the links bit and cut. Don't open those. They steal your identity and every information about you. Okay, so and also thank you to the women that have been coming through to help other women in need of thread. We gratefully appreciate you. Thank you so much. And for some that are still considering, and I hope you do, please donate whatever you can. They really need thread and they need to occupy their minds of the troubles of everyday life. So please do a good deed for them. It's not the amount, it's the gesture. So please help out. You could either give it to the super thanks right below the video that's going directly into the YouTube account and then they take 30% off whatever you're giving or you can go into my PayPal account and in the description box below and donate from there. Please also I would like to mention if you're watching the video passing through you like what you saw please give a thumbs up it's extremely important to have YouTube recognize the videos and circulate it in order for us to keep growing and also if you can share to bring more people into the channel and recognize the channel sharing is caring thank you so much okay so let's get started i want to mention that i use a 2.75 hook it's 100 percent cotton thread most of the time my thread and these are portugal brands i should have one somewhere around here And these threads, they go by numbers. They don't go by name. Um, since there was a high request of ordering threads, I am taking orders for threads. So if you're interested, they're $12 um, a ball, and they're 100 grams. It's about 300, 325 yards. This is coming from Europe, and it's including wood shipping. But you must order at least six in order to cover the shipping costs because it's literally impossible to ship out without having you guys uh, pitch in for those six rolls uh, for the threat. I earn nothing by it, okay? It's just basically a favor that I'm doing to you guys since it's such a high demand. These are four plies. They're a little bit thinner than Aunt Lydia number three. And these have a, a shine to it. And Lady is more of a matte, which for doilies and centerpieces and things like that, I prefer to use Aunt Lydia and the off white or off white and then mix these colors and it's just perfect. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. And if you need to get a hold of me for either order patterns, because you can, if you see a video you like and you'd like to order that pattern, you can comment on there or through my email. Just make sure you send me the picture so I'll know what you're talking about or through message on my Facebook group or Instagram or TikTok. All the information is below in the description box. So you have many ways of getting hold of me. Okay, so we'll start from here now. Thank you. Hello, my dear friends. Hope everyone's well. So I'm going to create this uh, runner. There's three of them here. This was an order that I had. And so the lady wanted three different sizes with the same style okay so I had done this um, quite a few of them actually but I never got around to the tutorial and now that I've completed this to give it to the lady I realized I don't think I have a tutorial on this and people might want to do it so this is oval this is the small one and then there's the bigger one with two right and then there's the biggest with three motives on it which is very fast very economic and very beautiful so I've used the 
um, beige with a multicolored blue, uh, royal blue, exactly how she wanted it. So I'm going to create this today and I'm going to go by the small one. I'm going to uh, create the smaller version and I will even doing the medium and the big one is no different than doing the small one. The only thing you have to do is increase on the chain when we start chain stitch. I believe this one I created with 47, but now I'll, I'll guess I'll, I'll know once I do the tutorial because I can't keep up with memory of all the chain stitch that I do for every pattern. So, uh, because this is two, so that means it would be double it, right? And this is three, so that means we have to triple it in order to have the three different motives on here. So very beautiful pattern, very economic and um, goes by pretty fast. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please, if you do give a thumbs up and if you're having a hard time with the video in the description box is a little link. You can click there, slow down the video and also turn your closed caption on your CC should be up top. You can read the, what I'm saying and take notes and it will help you. Okay, so we're going to get started on this. Um, I thought maybe you'd like this uh, pattern. I think it's very lovely and it's perfect for any room in the house actually. Okay, so let's get started everyone. By the way, I'll be using a 2.75 hook, a small one to tuck in loose ends of course, and my little scissor of course. Okay, these are four ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia. Aunt Lydia is a little bit thicker, so the pattern will become bigger, a bit bigger. Um, so just to let you know, these are Portugal threads. If you're interest, uh, interested on ordering them, they're $12 a ball. They're 100 grams. That means 300, 325 uh, yards, $12 a ball, and your minimum of order six um, balls, okay? Because shipping out of this island is outrageous. Okay, and this is just doing you guys a favor because I get questioned a lot uh, about mm -hmm. the threads, you know, so I'm just doing it for you guys. Okay, let's get started. So the, I'm going to use the white. So the first thing you want to do is that slip stitch knot. Now, you know, the slip stitch knot never counts for anything. And I'm going to do 47 chain stitch. This is for the small one and the small one I should have taken the measure which I didn't because obviously I didn't do the tutorial so can't remember all the measurements but it's got 46 centimeters by by 29 46 by 29 Okay, so let's do four, uh, 47 chain stitch. So I have my first one, two, three, until 47. I've done my 47 chain stitch, and I'm going to count backwards. One, two, three, on my fourth double crochet, I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going in the next space, another double crochet. So I'm going to do a total of four double crochets, okay, one chain stitch. If your tension is too tight, you can do a two chain stitch, okay. I'm going to come in, I'm going to skip a space and I'm coming into the next space. Okay, so skip a space into the next one, one double crochet. We're going to create three double crochets, one per stitch. Next space, another double crochet. So now we have a group of 
three double crochet remembering what we do on one side we must do on the other also one chain space i'm going to skip a space again i'm coming in doing double crochet and then again so now we got to build I have to see how many I have of double crochets there. So we're going to do 24 double crochets. So I have two, one per stitch, 24 double crochets. And then we're going to skip a space and we're going to repeat what we have here. Okay. So I'll meet you once I finish the 24 double crochet. I've done my 24 double crochets. I'm going to do one chain and I'm going to skip a space, come into the next stitch and create those three double crochets like we did at the beginning. And now we're going to create the four double crochets, one chain space, skip a space, and into the next one. Create your four double crochets. I have two, three, and four. Now as you can see, I have one, two, three chain left. And I've done this on purpose because I get questioned what happens sometimes when we have too much chains. And this is a way, especially for beginners, to learn. So you would come here where you've done your chain and you'd pull your thread. Much easier to take it down than if it's missing. You'll have a very hard time to um, continue the project, right? So this is simple. It's just pulling the thread. So that means we took out one, and then you would just pull it and it's just secure right there so your issue is resolved okay so uh, we did 47 that means you would have to do uh, 44 if you don't want to uh, have that extra thread this is especially for beginners that sometimes they do too much stitching and they want to know how to take it down Okay, so we're going to continue um, into, uh, what am I doing? Why am I turning around? I don't know. I'm blah, 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 and I forget what I'm doing. Okay, so now we've closed in the last uh, double crochet. I'm going to do one, two, and three. I'm going to come in the same, uh, the last double crochet and I'm going to do, I have to count how many I have there. So inside of this last double crochet, we need to do six total double crochets. So I have four five and six I'm gonna hide that thread at the same time now I'm going to just check my pattern there so now we need to do um, one per stitch on top of the double crochet the three groups that we did. One double crochet per stitch, that means there's three double crochet. We had three double crochet down here, so the, we do the three. That's not included with the six. Six is the corner one, okay? And we're going to do two more inside of this 
um, one chain space. I'm going to do one chain and I'm going to skip the three and coming in and doing if your tension is too tight you can do a two chain space I'm going to do three double crochets just like that one chain space I'm going to skip the first one the second and I'm coming into the third double crochet and we're going to do one double crochet per space so we're not doing the first two and we're not doing the last two double crochet okay so I've done my two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty double crochets because we don't do the first two and we don't do the last two chain one for some of you chain two if your tension is too tight we're coming inside of the space and doing those three double crochets exactly how we have on this side chain one coming inside the next space we're doing two double crochet only exactly how we have it on this side and then one per space that's those three double crochets we have here and the last one we're using to do the six double crochets so you're supposed to have 16 double crochets that's included with the ones we're going to do on the three double crochets and the two inside so we have one two three four five six seven so we have to do this the six in here so i have two four five and my sixth seven eight nine ten 11 so I already have 11 one on top of the double crochet from the previous row that's where we have the three so that's 12 13 14 inside of the one chain space 15 and 16 I'm going to do one chain and now I'm going to skip these two coming in you can't go wrong here because you're just following now this root here okay so you can't go wrong on the other side of the pattern because you're just following what you just finished doing I gotta hide this little knot thread here so I'm going to do my um, 20 double crochets exactly how I did on the other side whoops did I make a mistake here I did so on the other side we did also the three double crochets and then we skip don't mind me sometimes I get carried away when I'm concentrating on, on the pattern and talking at the same time okay so one chain space this little knot is getting in my nerves usually it's very easy for me to hide it but uh, sometimes i guess i don't know so one inside of the chain space two and three so we we can't go wrong and i just finished on you we can't go wrong because we have the sample right there one chain space we're going to skip the two double crochets and come in on the third one which follows exactly the one here and then do your 20 double crochets and pretty much just repeat the same thing don't do the last two double crochets so we skip the first two we don't do the last two we're just going to follow exactly as we have here you know where to stop one chain space come in and do three double crochets one chain space 
two double crochet is exactly like we have here and complete the rest of our 16 which is two in here and three double crochets one on top of the double crochet from the previous row so that means two inside three four five we have the six here already and we've completed there you should have a total of 16 and I'll meet you here at the end because now it's just pretty much a repeat of what we just did so do your 20 double crochets but I'll meet you at the end just in case you get confused okay so I've done my 20 double crochets exactly how we have on this side now you can see it stops exactly right on top I'm going to do my one chain I'm going to come inside of my one chain space and do my three double crochets and then one chain space come inside of the next space I'm doing two double crochets only exactly how we have here and then one per stitch to complete our 16 double crochets in the corners okay so now I've done the three here I'm going to come into my last chain here and close it up of course my tension here is always start uh, tight when I start with a slip stitch okay okay so now I've landed on top of the double crochet from the six groups in the corner I'm going to come back in and do a single because that's usually how I start off my double crochet single and two chain I'm coming back in the same one and doing another double crochet so inside of these six double crochets we're going to do two per stitch so that means we're going um, we're going to have a total of 12 in the corner now okay two inside of these six double crochets So I've done two on my first one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And the other side will be exactly the same exact thing. Now we're going to do one per stitch. and two inside of the chain space one chain space coming into the next one and creating those three double crochets one chain skipping the first two we're decreasing on the motive here in the middle so we don't do the first two and we don't do the last two I'll meet you at the end here of the double crochet so I finished doing my 16 double crochets remembering that we don't do the first two and we don't do the last two so the last two were decreasing we had 20 on this row here now taking out those four of course 16 chain one coming in and repeating again the same thing as we just did the three double crochets my neighbors are, are doing construction here there's never a dull moment I can never do a recording in silence so two double crochets and then one per space remembering when you get to the six in the corner we must do two in each stitch so if you need to put a marker at the beginning of your 
six double crochets in the corner maybe it'd be a best idea so you don't get lost in the weight so this is my first of the six I'm doing two double crochets in the same stitch creating those 12 double crochets here at the corner edge okay and pretty much what we just finished doing on this side so you know you have to do it here so I'm going to continue mine and meet you at the end you can just follow as you're turning around you can see what you just done and continue to do it again just remembering that the six there's two double crochets per stitch continue two inside of the first space here one chain three double crochets skip the two and do your 16 double crochets okay you guys so we've pretty much reached the end we've closed in with the slip stitch now what I'm gonna do because I'd like um, I'd like to keep this um, in order not to have so much of a mark here at the edge I'm going to cut my thread and I'm going I mean you can continue from there but I don't want to have a mark on here I think it doesn't look as pretty especially because the next rows are open rows at the edges and so I'm just gonna cut my thread and I'm gonna restart from a different angle just to keep up my my stitch looking similar to the double crochet when we start so I'm just hiding my thread in between the loops here okay so I'm going to start from here so we left off here I've cut in my thread so I'm going to come back here I'm going to come back two four six on my seventh one and if you realize just be uh, right after or before this seventh we have the groups in the corner okay so I'm going to start either this side the other side the same thing right after the groups so I did my single, my two chain. I'm coming in and doing my double crochet just because it will look much uh, cleaner uh, having this when you have to restart rows, having this row going up. It's not as noticeable as it would be if we kept going on the corner. So I'm doing one double crochet per space. So that means we'll have seven double crochets here. Okay, because the groups are right here in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two inside of the space of one chain, as we've been doing. One chain or two for some of you. Coming in here doing the three double crochets. Skipping again the first two double crochet, coming in the third. And we're not working the last two double crochet either so we had 16 we should have 12 double crochets here now we're not working the last two double crochet so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And I want to show you what I mean by having a nice clean cut going up. So as you can see here. So basically I've started here. Okay. So we can have a nice clean cut because if we continued here then it would be very noticeable right off the edge 
and here it won't. It sort of like hides in with the other stitches, okay? So that's a little trick for you sometimes. You know, people don't know, and it's always good to learn something different. So it doesn't hurt to start somewhere else. Okay, so now we're going to repeat this again. One chain coming in. Doing the three double crochets. One chain. Doing the two double crochets. And doing the seven double crochets that we just finished doing on the other side. So we'll have a total of nine with the two here. Two, three, four, five, six, What did I say it was? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, never mind. I was counting the row below. Never mind. This is a new row we're starting. Oh my goodness, sometimes I tell you. Okay, so let me just see how we're at. So I've done my nine double crochets exactly like we have on here on this side. I'm going to do one chain space. For some of you that are your tension's tight, you can do a two chain space. Now we fall into the groups of two. I'm skipping the first double crochet of the group and I'm coming in the second double crochet of the two uh, double crochet group in another double crochet in the same stitch. So now we're working groups of two double crochet. Skip one, the first one out of the two group. And on the second double crochet, I'm doing two double crochet. One chain space. Skip the first, coming into the second. So now you're supposed to have, at the corner here, six groups of two double crochet. And we'll be doing the same thing on the other corner. Skip one into the next stitch, two double crochet in the same stitch. Skip one, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one chain. I'm going to come in and do my One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to come in and do my, actually we're going to, uh, on this last one here, sorry, on this last one here, we're going to do in the first double crochet just to get it going. One chain space, skip that second one only on the last one and go into the seven double crochets here. Okay, we're doing the seven double crochets plus the two more inside of this chain. Okay, so we've done the seven and two inside of the chain here. And then we're going to repeat exactly the same thing as we did. One chain, doing the three double crochets, one chain, skip the first two, and continue to do your double crochets. One per chain. Okay, so all you have to do now is just continue exactly what we've done here. It's the same thing, nothing to it. Get to the corner. You have to do the same thing. The six groups on your last one. 
do it on the first double crochet and skip the second of the group so we can con do one chain space we continue to do the nine double crochets I'll meet you at the end remembering because we are decreasing the here not doing the first two and the last two we have 12 double crochets okay just a little reminder especially that sometimes there's quite a few uh, beginners one chain come and do your two double crochets because we're hitting the corner and then one per space until we hit the groups okay and then we're skipping the these uh, first double crochet going into the second only on the last one that we're doing on the first and skipping the last two four six eight nine one chain skip the first double crochet and create your group of two double crochet in the same stitch one chain skip the first come into your second so it's just a repeat now okay so you'll have six groups of two double crochet in the same um, stitch two double crochet in the same stitch skip a space into the next one one chain skip a space into the next one one chain so we're not going to skip this one we're going to come directly and sit like we did on the other side we're going to two, do two in here one chain and then close off our pattern so we can have those um, beautiful straight lines going up okay 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 everyone so I've reached the end and we're going to come in you can do a three chain if you'd like I'm doing a single and two chain the sequels my double crochet so here will be one double crochet per stitch and then two inside of the one chain space Two inside of this chain space here one chain coming into the next space next chain two and three double crochet one chain skipping the first two going into the third doing one double crochet per stitch so we're skipping the first two and the last two so two four six eight double crochet I think I better turn this little light here it makes it more clear one chain coming into the one chain space there and doing the three double crochets one chain coming into the next one two double crochets only and one double crochet per stitch until here so I've reached the end we have two four six eight ten eleven double crochets one chain coming into my first double crochet of the group doing one double crochet on my second double crochet of the group I'm doing two together in the same stitch 
one chain space and repeating the same thing on the other groups one double crochet and on the second one two together on the same stitch one chain st uh, space one double crochet and two together in the same stitch we're going to do this to all six of them so one two three four five six with three double crochet one chain uh, space in between the groups one chain come in and do your first double crochet so we'll be doing those 11 double crochet we're going to repeat exactly what we just finished doing on the other side we're going to do on this side okay so just repeat the same thing as we did here we're going to do here I'll meet you at the end so I've reached the end closed in with a slip stitch coming back in doing my single and two chain this equals my double crochet next phase so we're repeating double crochet with double crochet and two here at the end as we've been doing so I've done my double crochets one per stitch we have 13 double crochets one chain go into the next chain and create your three double crochets one chain skip the first two come in the third so we have one two three four four double crochets one chain come in the one chain space and create those three double crochets one chain come in do your two double crochets one per space so we're going to create the double crochets like we have here the 13 double crochets and then I'll meet you here on the last one I've done my 13 double crochets one chain in the first double crochet of the group one double crochet we're always doing an increase on the last double crochet two in the same stitch so if you realize we started uh, with two three four and the next row five six always in the last double crochet so this is going to be a repeat of what we just did on this side on the other side and also at the other edge so we're just going to repeat and then continue to do exactly the same thing here and then coming to the corner we'll do the same thing so I'll meet you at the end so I've closed in with slip stitch and I come in single to chain that equals my double crochet so we're going to continue to do the double crochets all the way to the end two inside of the space like we've been doing here the increase one chain coming in doing the three double crochets but anyway I'll meet you here on the two double crochets because it's just one double crochet per stitch okay I've done my 15 double crochets one chain coming into the next space and doing my three double crochets one chain skipping the four um, yes skipping the four double crochets coming in and doing my three double crochets now like I mentioned at the beginning if your tension is too tight you can do a two chain space one chain come in and create your 15 double crochets exactly how we did at the beginning of this row okay so basically we're just repeating these 15 on here 
and then when we get to the groups, we're doing the increase on the last double crochet. That means we'll have five double crochets on this row, but I'll meet you here at the groups, okay? Because it's just double crochet over double crochet now. One chain space and create your double crochet over the double crochet from the previous row. One per stitch and two on the last stitch. Okay, so I've created my 15 doing my one chain coming into the groups, one double crochet per stitch, and doing my increase of two together on the last stitch. So we have five double crochets, one chain space, two chain for some of you, and continue on the same thing. Oh my goodness, there's never a dull moment with noise in this place, I'm telling you. I tried different hours of recording, but I guess I'm always out of luck with these people. It's either the cat guard feel that sometimes I want to kill them as much as I love animals. Bugs the dogs. It's either the dogs barking, motorcycles passing, neighbors are constructing, the dogs uh, of the neighbors uh, want to flip pl plates up in the air for food. I mean, OMG. Okay, so continue on. And repeat the same thing on here on this side and then the same thing as we're doing here on this side I'll meet you at the end okay you guys so I've given myself a head start I thought we were jumping already only to double crochets thank God I looked at the pattern so I have 17 double crochets we're going to do that one chain we're gonna come in the center here between both groups of three double crochet and doing three double crochet to chain and then coming in and doing the two double crochet exactly how we did here on this side was almost making a big boo-boo and then one per space doing your 17 double crochets again okay coming to uh, the edge still we're doing the two on the last stitch so two three four five this row will have six and continue to do one chain space so i'll meet you at the end okay okay everyone so into the next row so i've given myself a head start because it's always the repeat the single of the two chains one double crochet per stitch so i've come to almost the end here we're still going to do the two double crochets inside of the one chain space. I'm going to do a two chain this time. And, no, well, not even. I'm going to continue with my one chain. Not yet. And I'm going to do my two double crochets here as usual. And then continue on again doing those uh, double crochets as we normally do. And then we're going to repeat again. So we have six double crochets here. Two, four, six. This row will have seven now. Always increasing the two on the last stitch. So that's pretty much for this one. The only difference is this uh, one chain space here for some of you two chain space okay so let's just confirm rows because I haven't been counting rows at all so one two three four five six seven eight this is row nine okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I've started my row 10 of course it's the same thing single two chain one double crochet per um, stitch coming to the one chain space there for some of you you might have two chain space we're going to do two inside of this space so it's all about um, double crochets here on both sides and the corners will continue the same for the neck this row and the 11th row now as you see here this is the uh, tenth row we're on so it's just double crochet two inside the space next row is one double crochet per um, stitch so 
Row 10 and 11 are exactly the same here, just double crochet per stitch. And the corners, we do the increase as usual, okay? So there's no point to keep recording the same thing. So this row and the next row is exactly the same. Double crochet, one per space on each stitch, okay? And the ed the edges, the corners, the round corners are the same. We keep them the same, the increase as we've been doing the two double crochets on the last double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you here just so you can understand. Okay, so one chain here and we're continuing to repeat the corners the same way. One double crochet per stitch and then your two in the last stitch. That's the same increase. This row and the next row, okay? So row 10 and 11 is exactly the same thing. Row 12 will be different. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row 11 because it's just a repeat, one double crochet per space, per uh, stitch, and the increase on both ends. Okay, everyone, so I finished my row 11. Going into row 12, row 12 is just double crochets all the way around. And where we have the one chain space, we're doing two double crochets. There will be no increase on the edges, okay? It's just one double crochet per, per uh, stitch. So my single, my two chain is my first double crochet. And I continue on just doing double crochets all the way around. Even when I get to the one chain space, I'm doing two double crochets inside of the two of the chain space. So I will meet you here just so you don't get confused, okay? So I've arrived in my one chain space. I'm going to do two double crochets inside of the space. And then one per stitch. I am not doing any increase on the last one. It's just one double crochet in that space because we are already increasing the two double crochet per space, uh, per chain here. So no increase, two double crochet inside of the space. And then continue on. Okay, so just double crochets all the way around, two inside of the spaces, no increase. And then I'm cutting my thread and coming in with a different color. So this is row 12. Okay, everyone, so I'm pretty much finished doing my whole row. Row 12 going into row 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Yeah going into row 13. So on row 13, we're going to start on this double crochet here, not the first one of the last motive, okay? But the second one here. And this whole row will be about little squares, little boxes, if you want to call it. So my single, my two chain. There's going to be a two chain space between them, okay? So we're gonna skip only on this edge and the other edge. We're skipping by two stitch, but in the corners, we're skipping only by one, but I'll let you know when. So I'm gonna skip one, two. On my third one, I'm coming in with double crochet. One, two, chain. Skip one, two on my third one, double crochet, two chain, one, two on my third one, double crochet. We're going to do 19 squares like this, skipping two stitch and doing two chain, okay? Okay, everyone. 
So I've done my 19 little blocks starting from the second one here of the last motive. And now we're going to do two chain, just the same, but we're skipping only one space and coming into the next. We're going to do 25, skip one space into the next chain, uh, stitch, two chains and skip a space into the next stitch, two chain, skip a space into the next one. So we're going to do 25 of these skipping one space. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 25. Now we're going to continue again to do 19 little squares. Skip two and into the third one. Two chain. Skip two space into the third one. Two chain. Skip two space into the third one. Okay, so 19 little squares again. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 19 again little squares. And now I'm going to return back to the one space. Skip a space into the next one. Two chain again skip a space into the next one skip a space two chain of course skip a space into the next one okay so we're going to repeat that until we meet here. Okay, everyone. So, for some reason, I don't know why, maybe I missed a stitch somewhere. So, I had to do a bit of cheating. So, I was only getting 23 and I needed two more for 25. So, I've cheated here. So, you can do the same if you, in case you don't arrive. So, I, instead of skipping, I went directly on top and skipped one and went right in between this one here and then right on top and then right on top so you can adjust yours whatever way best for you make sure you have 25 on this side also okay now I'm going to come in with a single and two chain inside of the two chain space I'm doing two double crochets on top of the double crochet from the previous row. This whole row will be like this all the way around to inside of the chain space and one on top of the DC from the previous row. That's all there is to it on this row. Nothing different. Okay. And then I'm uh, going to cut my thread and I'm going to come in with a multicolored uh, yellow so it can just give me a nice mixture. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end and then I'm changing my color as I said and then we'll take it from there. So this is um, so the squares were row 13, this is row 14 Okay, so two inside of the space, one on top of the double crochets. Okay, everyone, so I finished my row 14 going into row 15. Row 15 is very simple. It's just double crochet over double crochet. You can start anywhere that you would like. It doesn't change anything. Okay, so I'll just start here. with my single. That's if you're changing color. If not, then you, you continue where you're at. So I'm doing single two chain. I'm coming in with a mixture, multicolored. It's terracotta, a little bit of very beigey yellow in it. So this row is 
not complicated, it's just double crochet over double crochet, <clears throat> one per space, one per stitch. So very, very simple, nothing to it. And that goes all the way around. So one per space, all the way around, then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 16. Yes, yeah, row 16. So now I'm going to come in again doing my single two chain. We're going to be building groups of four double crochet, one per stitch. Two chain skip one, two, coming into the third one and build those groups of four double crochets again, one per stitch. We're going to do this all the way around, so two chains, skip one, two, come into your third one and create the four groups of double crochet, one per stitch. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished all my groups of four double crochets, two chains, skip two space into the third. Now, uh, just for the demonstration of the video, because I'm not keeping this, this is just, you know, for the uh, purpose of the tutorial. I'm going to come back in. We're doing the last row. So row 17. I'm going to come back in with the white. And the reveal shots in the little video will be of the blue pieces, okay? So you can start pretty much anywhere. I'm going to come in with a single two chain. We're going to do four double crochets. One chain and four more double crochets. Just like that. Come directly into the next space and continue to do. Um, some of you might ask, can I do just with three? Yes, you can. One chain space and four more double crochet. If you find that it's too much for you, because some people have very loose stitch, so it will, you know, be too bulky, then you can do with three double crochets instead of four. So you'd come directly. Now I didn't do anything else to the other patterns. You can leave as is or you can add single crochets again on another row if you want to. You could even come in with your whatever color, if you're mixing colors, and just do single crochets up top. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the video. Let me know. And I'm just going to finish this one here just to give you a better glimpse, but you see a better off the the beige and the royal blue mixture. But anyway, it's really pretty too. Okay, so I wanted to give you <clears throat> the explanation on the medium and large. So basically we did the small one. So you would double your chain stitch and you'd proceed the same way as we did the small one. So 
basically so you'd finish here which is this one here Let's see if I can get it up this one here right which is this one here and you do squares right or should I put it so basically you do your chain stitch and then you double your your chain stitch of course here we have one and here you'd have two because you're creating two motives right so you'd have to have two so let's say this and this and then you'd start this exactly the same thing as you do here you do on the other one so it's just a continuation of just doing the same thing and it works the same way for the three piece one or four or five piece it doesn't matter you triple your chain stitch and then of course you do your 24 double crochets two chain three double crochets or one chain or whatever the case may be let's say two chain then the groups then you'd go on again and you repeat the same thing because you're creating three right anyway so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what you think I'll have the reveal shots on the blue of course because it's completely and the colors stand out more and uh, thank you so much please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and I will see you in the next video thank you everyone much love much hugs Thank <laughs> you.